Hi. Um, today I'm doing a video on flower names. Um, video was requested by form singer Flora Catherine, whose name Flora means flower. So um, I'm going to do flower names for you guys. And I tried to do as many flower names as possible. Um, it was a little bit difficult for the boys, so there'll be some tree names thrown in there. Um, but yeah, I did get some flower names for the boys, believe it or not. And um, I'm going to start with the girls' names. Oh, I tried to avoid really popular names, so there won't be a lot of popular flower names. Um, the first one I have is Azalea. I think Azalea is really pretty. Um, nice girl's name. It sounds girly to me, so I like it a lot. It's really pretty. And azaleas are a flowering bush. We have them a lot here in Texas, actually. Azaleas, so in the summertime, they get like big pink flowers on them, like happy flowers. They're really pretty. And, um, yeah, <laughs> it's a cute name. The next name on my list is Violette. I like Violette a lot. Um, if you like Violet, but are worried about the fact that Violet is really so popular, um, Violette would be a nice alternative. I think it would age well. Uh, I think it would definitely be better for an adult than Violet would. I, I think Violet's the much more grown up Um, yeah, thank you. The next one that I have is Zinnia. I like Zinnia a lot. It's a kind of flower as well. Um, I get mixed reviews on it though. On Form Spring, people, a lot of people seem not to like it very much, but I like it. I think it's different and unique. So. The next one on my list is Lavender. I love the name Lavender. It is the name of a character in Harry Potter. Um, she is one of the people that, who lives in Gryffindor. Um, with Harry and Hermione and Ron. So, and I love Harry Potter. So if the name comes from Harry Potter, I'll probably love it. <laughs> so Lavender is a really nice girl's name, I think. Um, next one I have is Calla. Uh, Calla is a kind of lily. Calla lily. Um, there's a tall, skinny lily. It's sort of, I don't know how to explain them. <laughs> They're very pretty. And then it came Callie, because we used for Calla. And that's really nice. It's a really cute name for a little girl. Um, and I think it would age well. The next one on my list is Magnolia. I like Magnolia a lot. It's very pretty. Um, it's kind of flowering tree. We have a lot of them here in the south. Um, my college campus here in Texas is lined with magnolias. They're everywhere. And they're really gorgeous. They have these big white flowers on them that are really nice. Um, yeah, so I like Magnolia. And you can use the nickname Maggie for it, which is a really cute name. Um, if you don't like, want to use, if you like the name, nickname Maggie, but you don't want to use Margaret, Magnolia would be a nice alternative. The next one on my list is Ivy, which is not a flower, but is a vine. And, um, yeah, I think Ivy's really cute. It's a really funky girl thing, and it's one I've started to like a lot uh, recently. I especially like it for a middle name, but, um, yeah, Ivy's really cute. The next one on my list is a juniper. Juniper is also not a flower, it's a kind of tree. Um, well, yeah, it's a kind of evergreen tree, and I think it's a really cute thing, uh, juniper. So, yeah. I probably have, I might not use it for a first name, but it'd be cute. The next one on my list is Danica. Danica is really cute. It means flowers of Denmark. So, I really like the name Danica. Um, I've liked it for a while, so. I was excited to find out it was a flower name when I did the research for this. Um, yeah. So the next one on my list is Elodie. Elodie is a March flower. So, yeah, that's a really cute name. I love the name Elodie. It's in my top ten. Um, so, yeah, I like it. The next one on my list is Fern, which, again, is not a flower. It's a um, a type of shrub uh, fern. And, um, yeah, I first heard it in Charlotte's Web. That's the name of the little girl um, who has Wilbur and takes care of them. And, um, yeah, I think it's a really cute name. The next one I have is Lillian. Um, if you like the nickname Lily, but you're deterred by how very popular Lily is, Lillian would be a nice option. You could call her Lily as a nickname. Um, yeah, I like Lillian a lot. I think it would age well. It's a very beautiful name. It's also an old-fashioned name. So, very nice. Uh, the next one I have is Linnea. Linnea is a very pretty name. It sounds very exotic to me and like, just very pretty. And it's the name of a small pink mountain flower, so, 
especially for me. And um, the next one is Rosalyn. Um, it comes Rosalyn comes from the Latin for rose. So if you like the like the name Rose again, um, but are deterred by the popularity of Rose, uh, Rosalyn would be a really nice choice. Um, I like it a lot. You can also use any of the other derivatives of Rose, like Rosa, Ro uh, Rosalie, Rosalina. Any of those would be nice, but I particularly like Rosalind. I think it's pretty and would age well. And the last one on my girl fans list is Fleur, which again is a Harry Potter name, and I love Harry Potter. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's French for flower, so you get a French name, a flower name, a Harry Potter name, all in one. It's very cute, I like it a lot. So, yeah. <laughs> the next one is on the boys' name list, so it's starting the boys' name list, and I did find some flower names, believe it or not. The first one that I found for boys was Florian, which means flower. So there you go. <laughs> and the next one that I have is Oleander. Um, Oleander comes from the Greek for an evergreen tree, and I believe it's a poisonous plant as well. But I think Oleander is really nice. You can use the nickname Oliver or Ollie. And yeah, I like it. The next one I have for boys is Aspen. Aspen is a kind of tree. Um, I know. It's also a place name, so the name of the town in Colorado. Um, so yeah, I like Ashton. Um, next one is Ash. I like Ash a lot. It's also a kind of tree, obviously. Um, it's short, cute, and yeah, really nice and simple. Uh, the next one I have is Rowan. Rowan, again, is a kind of tree. Um, and it's a really nice name as well. I like it a lot. Uh, the next one I have, I got from... Another Form Springer YouTube video, um, Form Springer, uh, My Shiny Place. I think she just changed the Form Spring to everything baby name. I might be wrong. Um, yeah, but she had the name Bracken on her flower name video. And I like that name. It's really cool. I actually, when I heard it, added it to my listography. So, yeah, I like Bracken. And I looked it up. It's a large horse fur. So, um, yeah, I like it a lot. The next one I have is Aster. Aster is a kind of flower, so I got another boy's name. It's a flower. Um, yeah, so I like Aster. Aster is really cool sounding. Uh, the next one I have is Briar. Briar is a thorny bush, so I thought that would be a nice boy's name. Um, yeah, really cute. Uh, the next one I have is Indigo. Indigo is uh, the name of the indigo plant, and so yeah, it's a cool sounding. Very hip sounding boy's name, Indigo. Um, the next one I have is Willow. I know a lot of people like Willow for a girl, um, but it's hard to find flower and tree boy's name, so I have another boy's name list. Um, and Willow is a kind of tree. And the last one that I have for boys is Avon. Avon is a white, yellow, or red flower. I believe it's a kind of mountain flower. And yeah, so I found another flower name for boys. <laughs> Um, yeah, and so those are all my flower names in comment. Let me know if you like them or don't like them. Um, if there's any that weren't on my list that you like a lot. Um, if you have any name video requests, uh, please let me know below in the comments. And as always, I will list the names for you. Uh, bye!